Hello YouTube, we're back again. Today's video we're going to be talking about tree identification and today we're going to look at spruce trees. Now here on the east coast of New Brunswick we have three native species of spruce. We have red spruce, black spruce, and white spruce. Uh, all three are good for lumber providing the growing conditions are correct. Now the first tree I want to show you here, this is mature white spruce. Now if you zoom the camera in here closer, you'll see that the bark, the bark grows in round shapes. If you can see what I'm talking about. The bark is almost like scales. That is the telltale sign for the bark on a white spruce. Now, white spruce has a bad reputation. I said these all the spruce are good for lumber depending on the growing conditions. White spruce sometimes get the name of cow pasture spruce because if a white spruce grows on uh, like an old field, an old cow pasture, uh, they'll develop limbs right from the stump up and that is one bad part. Of course, white spruce is a pioneer species. It's one of the first species of trees that grows back on a clearing and so white spruce coming up in an old field will have a tendency to have limbs right from the ground up and uh, that's not a desirable quanti uh, quality when you're talking about lumber. As a matter of fact, if you look at the specs of what they'll buy at different mills, quite often you'll see uh, no white spruce uh, in the load. They don't want to buy it. Uh, the reason is when you have limbs right from the ground up, your boards are going to be knotty right from the ground up. Uh, trees with a lot of big knots on them is harder to dry. They don't dry straight and uh, so the lumber is, uh, you've all seen the big box stores with lumber that's, you know, you can make a set of skis out of them and you don't even have to uh, steam them. Uh, that's what happens when you try and dry really knotty wood. And so a white spruce grown on open ground, an old field, an old cow pasture, something like that, is not a desirable tree as far as uh, merchantable value for your wood and uh, but now the strange thing is when the white spruce grows in dense forest now this is a mixed age uh, stand uh, it's been harvested over the last couple of centuries multiple times the family goes in we take out you know the big stuff we take out crooked trees damaged trees and so there's always young trees coming up and mature trees on the stand. This is a mature white spruce. I've seen them bigger than this, but this is, this is an average size for a mature tree. And when they grow in a stand of trees like this, uh, they don't have that problem with limbs right to the stump. And uh, now, one of the strange things about white spruce, considering that a lot of sawmills won't buy white spruce, is that... We've got a visitor here today. Followed my son back here. One of the uh, strange things about spruce is that white spruce, even though it's not really a desirable species, is that there's one large company here in New Brunswick that looks after the forestry on all the crown land and they have a seed nursery. And uh, if you want to buy seedlings like through the Woodlot Association or anything like that, uh, the trees come out of their nursery. Now, from their nursery, they will only sell you white spruce, which you have to wonder why, because a white spruce is a low value species. And yet if a private woodlot owner wants to buy seedlings, this is what they'll sell them. So you've got to plant uh, quite densely in order to keep the trees self pruning so that you get a clear trunk like this. One of the strange things, I don't know why they, uh, I don't know why they don't sell red spruce which is the next tree we're going to look at now if we just step over here to the side the red tree here but the bigger one right here now the red spruce if you'll notice the bark is in long there's long lines in the bark you don't see that round pebble like you do on a white spruce you get these long strips of bark like this and when it flakes off It'll flake off in long pieces. This is uh, this is the cream of the crop when it comes to uh, spruce lumber for construction uh, framing. This is this is the tree that saws out the best lumber. Now 
that nursery that I was speaking of, I called them a few years ago. I was looking for seedlings to uh, to put in a few open places on my, around through my ground, and uh, I was quite surprised to find they will not sell seedlings of these trees here, which is strange because this is the predominant predominant uh, lumber species. <laughs> We've got a monkey climbing the tree. This is the predominant lumber species in New Brunswick. Red spruce is the the best spruce that there is and yet that company won't sell seedlings from red spruce. Now a red spruce it gets its name because if you skin the bark off a little bit there's kind of a reddish color to the under the underside of the bark and uh, red spruce grows well whether it's in open ground or in uh, in a, a dense stand like this. Uh, red spruce is self pruning the lower limbs will die off as the tree grows up and uh, this is your this is your better species here for uh, for lumber. Now the third species of tree that I mentioned, the third species of spruce, is the black spruce. I don't have black spruce on my ground. Black spruce grows on boggy ground, and a black spruce, uh, if if you ever drive past a piece of bog and you see long skinny trees with a big ball of limbs at the top, uh, you're looking at black spruce. Black spruce grows very slow, and so you don't get the, the conical shape to the top of the tree because you don't have a long developing leader on the tree and uh, so that's uh, that's the trait of black spruce. Black spruce likes boggy ground, wet ground and uh, that's where you're going to find them. All of my ground here is high ground and uh, well drained and so we don't have black spruce on this ground. Now we're going to take a look at needles. Okay, so here is a young seedling, red spruce, and the trait of red spruce, you'll see you have needles all the way around, uh, shorter needles, and they, they point toward the outward tip on the limb. Now this tree is it's growing a pretty good leader. You got probably eight inches of leader that this has put up this year. Now each year, if you can look very closely at this here, you see these little buds? That's where your limbs are going to come off next year. So each year this will put out a leader and then it'll start and it'll put out side shoots like this right here and they'll grow out and then this will go up. It'll put out another set of side shoots and then continue on up. This is the, this is the way that the red spruce looks. You can see it's if you look at the bark, you can almost see a little bit of a reddish tint to the bark. Some people question where uh, where red spruce gets its name, but you can almost see a little bit of a reddish tint to the bark. Yeah, somebody's helping me out here. Uh, red spruce is easily identified. Uh, or this is uh, this is a balsam fir. You can see the difference between the two. The red spruce. The needles come out all the way around the limb, whereas a balsam fir, they come out to the sides. That's just the difference between the two. If you're thinning a piece of ground and you want to keep your spruce growing and you don't want to, you don't want the balsam fir. Balsam fir is more of a weed species. Just the difference between them. Now, here's another, this is an older tree. And this one, looking at this tree, now I can tell from looking at this tree, this tree is not doing well. One of the strange things about trees is that in a mixed age stand, you can have trees that are two feet on the stump at 85 years old, and you can have a tree that's this size at 85 years old. And this tree, I can tell from the characteristics of this tree that this is an old tree. First off, if we look at the top, you can see a very short, that's only about a two inch leader. Growing in open sunshine like this, this is right on the side of a roadway. That tree, if that was uh, a young tree and growing rapidly, that tree would have at least a six or eight inch leader. Uh, it's only got two inches. And you see a lot of clusters of long limbs right here at the top. That shouldn't be. If that tree was actively growing, that tree would be another two feet tall before it had limbs this long at this height. And uh, looking down the tree, we can see in the needles there's some aphid or insect damage. See this browning in the needles? These needles are they're brittle and they're falling off. 
and uh, looking at the trunk, you can see that this trunk, well, partly because it's been on the road, you can see the trunk is quite crooked. And uh, another way to tell that this is an older tree, this tree is already starting to self-prune. You can see these bottom limbs have died out. Uh, I would venture a guess that this tree is probably 40 years old. Uh, I know there was some harvesting done on this section of road back in 1982, and I'm going to say that this tree probably came up just after that. But uh, seeing this self pruning, these dead limbs, you shouldn't see that on a young tree that is, you know, under eight feet tall. So uh, that's another thing to look at. If you're going through your ground and you're looking to call out trees that aren't doing well, that's some of the signs to look for in a in a spruce. Uh, if I was thinning through this ground, this tree would get knocked down. In order to let some better trees grow, there's a couple of pine seedlings coming right at the butt of it. They would do much better. So that's a look at, or a quick look at spruce trees. I do not have the limbs or the, the needles of a white spruce. White spruce aren't as common on this ground as red spruce. Uh, you see maybe one to the acre, and I don't see any small white spruce right around here that I can get the needles off of. But the needles of a white spruce are uh, a little bit shorter than the red spruce, and they stick out from the limbs a little more than what the red spruce do, though, as well, uh, where the red spruce kind of lay along the, along the limb. A white spruce needle will stick out a little bit. So there's a quick look at spruce trees, and we're getting some entertainment from the dogs here. We have a terrible death struggle going on here. That's a look at spruce trees. Spruce trees are your, your number one tree as far as valuable structural lumber goes, and uh, it's the wood that's the easiest to sell here on the east coast of Canada. So, until next time, we'll look at another group of trees, but that's your spruce trees. Have a good one.